I'm not a scavenger like some people. Oh my god, it's an invincible Japanese soldier. Let's poke him. Let's shoot him. Let's let's do something to him. He has to die. Oh, his invincibility ran out. I do not know why this happens, but apparently it does. Okay, so we're inside the building and the door has not been opened to us yet. Yes! Are these guys infinite or something? Oh dear. Okay. Wait, let's let's just end this. Okay, ready, aim, fire. Yes! Burn, little man, burn! <laughs> if you've got children in the room who are afraid of seeing burning bodies, please take them out now. Or lots of blood, and gore, and limbs flying off, and other cool stuff that you have not seen in life before, but World War II games offer. So, please. Let's see if we can see the airplane closer up. You remember that falling one? Let's see where it goes. Okay, so it falls. And, let's see. Okay, it's going to the left, to the left. Okay, what's over there to the left? Okay, it's falling, and apparently it disappears. <laughs> Strange. Anyway, enough of falling outside the map. Let's see what's on the actual of the map. Because, well, there's really no point of looking at the outskirts of the map if we can actually play the level properly. And once again, your buddies have not helped you in slaying any more Japanese than was required by them. So, good job for overachievement, guys. You'll get medals of honor for sure. While I'm working my ass off over here trying to destroy all these people, they're kind of sitting there watching themselves and watching me slay all of these people using rifle grenades. Now, whoever thinks this is a noob tube, please let me get this straight. It's not a tube. Okay? It's just amazing anyway. Okay. Sneak attack. Sneak attack. Over sneak attack. I'd ask him to give me a hand, but he has none. And this guy? Yeah. He meets a bloody death just like the rest of them. No. Oh. Is there anybody left in the living? Oh, we've got two men. Yes! That's nice. How did these guys miss everybody? Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> he made a funny noise. Okay, let's see. Secret rooms. There's plants coming through the wall in this one. file block cabinets oh here are my friends and here's the death carton's glowing shrine Whoa! Whoa! so it's over here as soon as you're american stop over here it's um, on the far end of the ladder if you go up downstairs it's gonna be straight over here to the left right there yeah sorry about that the steroid legs are over reacting Fast, if you haven't noticed already. Okay. I took care of that entire car with just my bare hands. I'm like Trick Norris now. No, I'm just kidding. I could never be like Trick Norris. But if I could be, that'd be one of the things I'd want to do. And now we kill all the tanks in strange ways. Instead of hiding from them now, we can explore the map. Thing. So, oops. Yeah, that's what happens when you, um, you fall off the map. So you basically fall into a white oblivion. I don't know why it's black. It's not. It's not that the game developers were racist or anything. It's just they made it white on this level. On some levels, it is actually black. So just to keep the issues. On here. And check that out. That those were the two bunkers on the. Oops, not again. Sorry, guys. But it's another view for the other side of the map. For all the people who really, really, really wanted to tell me why can't you just go underneath the map? Well, that's why. 
because I fall through the ground and there's nothing to do on the underside of the map. You just fall until, well, you can't see the map above you anymore. And when that happens, you're basically doomed and you should restart the level because it's not worth flying back up. It's going to take you as long as you fell, if not longer. People who have not figured it out, you fall faster than you fly. That's one. That's going to be a second one. And okay, let me just hit this one. Maybe I should knife it. But since I don't have an uber knife, I can't really do anything. <laughs> Wait, where's the last one? Is it a duck? Is it a monkey? No, it's a dead tank. Oh, once again, proving that my comrades are useless. They were comrades. Stab. Joyful stab. Joyful stab. Retarded. <laughs> Joyful stab. Now, as soon as you joyfully stab all of your little friends, friends, you must return the favor that they bestowed upon you of trying to kill you with whacking things by basically rifle grenading them. And see, these invisible people, they kind of piss me off because they're, well, invisible. I don't know how to make myself invisible. So I was jealous of them. So I, I think they should die, personally. Because rifle cannons that are invisible, they're out of this world, just like me. And, well, I want to go inside this house first before I do anything about this preposterous addition to the Call of Duty 5 world. Because after all, this is unfair. Finally decide to be mortal. Yeah. Rub it in my face, won't you? Now we torch everything around us because, well, if you're not a pyromaniac, that's too bad for you. But you have to be one in order to use the flamethrower properly. It was in the handbook, and if it's not in the handbook, well, put it in there in crayon. It's supposed to be in there. It's supposed to be an amendment. Ooh. No, this is the map. All the way from up here. It's a very long level if you have not figured this out already. I'm not sure if it's the longest, but it's one of them for sure. And there are some fighter planes. Don't know if they're kamikazes or your men or whosoever fighter planes they were. Bastards nearly had us. They'll do whatever it takes. Yay, we've got the airfield. We got a problem! And now we've got that problem. Now, for people who haven't used this cannon before, even without using cheats, this thing is amazing. So please, if you have not already tried using the aircraft cannon against vehicles and people, please do. It's it's a good waste of your time. It's a 50 caliber machine gun, basically. Only it's not a machine gun, it's more like a cannon. It's very effective against tanks their vehicles, but you'd want to use it for not only that, but for people too. But since anybody can do that, let's try something new. Okay, explode the barrels from close range now. Let's bayonet them. And magic grenade them from close up. Oh, don't forget to subscribe by the way, guys. Um, this is the third video of the series, so if you have not watched the first two, please do, by all means. Since it's, it's really worth subscribing, we're going to be doing very, very, very crazy things in the next levels to come, as well as um, the end levels and every other level, basically, because this is special. So, 
don't forget, um, this is a special cheat series that we're, we're um, hosting. So if you're like, oh my god, that guy sucks. He is just so gay for using all these cheats and for not doing the level properly. Please, we have beaten the entire level on veteran. And we've done it without cheats because when you're using the cheats, you cannot actually uh, play it on a difficulty. Let's give this tank a heart attack while we're at it. Though. So, yeah. We, we've beaten the game and after all of our series, come, after the whole series comes out, we're going to show you all of you how to do um, the cheats on PC. So please stay tuned.